Well, the last video was all about good news, about messengers that bring good news, about the messenger who would bring the good news, the good news of a king, the good news of his kingdom. We saw, if you remember, how Israel had fallen into great disrepair, into decay, broken down into evil and corruption of all sorts of different varieties, how they had been led away into captivity. But we also saw that the promise that God had always given to the people of Israel, back with Abraham and, and, and back with David, that those things remain. The promises of God always remain. He's always going to make good on what he says he's going to do. And the good news that was given to, to the prophets to, or from the prophets to Israel, that promise remained as well. Good news was coming to the people of Israel. Despite Israel's decay, despite them, uh, them falling into this destruction, God still reigned, and one day he was going to come and make good to them uh, his plan. He was going to come to them as king. He was going to establish amongst all the kingdoms of the world a kingdom, a kingdom, his kingdom, an upside-down kingdom, a kingdom different from all the other kingdoms in the world, a kingdom of peace, a kingdom of righteousness, a kingdom that was calling people to live differently and a kingdom that was open to people from every nation, from every background, regardless of where you've come from. And we saw that this kingdom and this king was, was good news. A king was breaking into the world to establish a new kingdom, and it was good news. Well, now we turn to Jesus. He's, as you know, he's been with us the last four videos. They've all somewhere or another arrived at Jesus. But now we're going to sp focus specifically on the story of Jesus. Remember how I said way back in the very first uh, video that Jesus is like the climax to a long story? Well, now we are finally arriving at the climax. And in this video, which is the beginning of, of uh, four videos on the story of the book of Luke, we're looking at the birth of Jesus. And you know where the story begins? It begins in a field. And it begins there with shepherds. And it begins there with angels. And the angels are making an announcement to the shepherds in the field. And do you know what the announcement is that they are making to those shepherds? Behold, we bring you good news. It's time. And what is the good news? They go on to say that today, today, shepherds, in the city of David, which was Bethlehem, today in the city of David, a savior, he has been born, a deliverer out of the snake, out of the marring, a savior has been born. And who is he? He is Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah. He is Christ, the Lord. The angels in that first Christmas celebration are saying that the king has come. Now, do you see why I'm telling you that you needed that long story before? Because when you finally get to the climax, the climax makes so much more sense. It's all been building to the arrival, setting the stage, making sense of things for the arrival of this good news king and his good news kingdom. So let's watch then the first uh, story or the first video in the life of Jesus. And as you do, I want you to consider just these two questions. First of all, in the story, we are going to see that the king comes to the most unexpected people. He comes to a poor virgin. As we just saw, he comes to poor shepherds. He's born in a poor stable. Everyone around is poor. Now here's the question. Why would God choose to come to the poor? What is that saying? What does that say about the nature and the character of who God is? And the second question is this. The story, the story of Christmas, it's filled with marvel and miracles and wonder, so much more than Santa Claus and consumerism. It's filled with all of these incredible announcements and the arrival of angels and all of these crazy things. And, and here's, here's the question, what if? What if it's all true? 
And with that, let's watch the video.